Okay, so welcome to my presentation about my struggle with follow through and selling as a shiny object chaser and how Notion helps me focus. And I'll start off by apologising because my neighbour is hammering on the roof. I'm hoping my microphone means you don't hear it, but in case you do, um, it's taken me a week to sneak away from my family and record this because it's the summer um, holidays. <laughs> my son's off school, so this is the first chance I've had and my neighbours decided to be noisy. So anyway, welcome. My name's Amy and I help online business owners plan out their offers and tech and content strategy through uh, using my templates and problem solving sessions. And I have a particular love for Notion. My background is product design. I have a degree in product design and I worked in retail buying for several years as well as product development. So I have experience in planning out like product ranges and looking at pricing um, in an e-commerce situation. So um, my current setup is kind of what I'm showing here on the left. Um, so my main content creation piece is um, I have a YouTube channel. Although that might change to summits because YouTube growth is going very slowly um, and I'm not sure I actually enjoy making my YouTube videos that much so that may change but um, I sell my Notion templates, I sell one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions and other templates and that all comes from my YouTube channel. So um, here are what my struggles have been for many years. <laughs> I have lots of ideas, I'm a mega ideas person um, and that they can just be all muddled up in my head, all these ideas. I implement some of them, but I never quite get them finished, which is why I've got that little note with some things ticked off, but not everything ticked off because I never quite complete things. And then all these half made ideas end up gathering digital dust on my laptop, <laughs> uh, never to see the light of day. Or maybe I release them, uh, leave them up there for a bit, have a brand new idea, scrap the old one and start all over again. And it's this constant cycle of ideas, but not ever kind of following through with them and actually trying to sell them for very long, if at all. So I have an idea <laughs> and then I do all this hard work to get that idea out there or almost out there and end up exhausted and just going round in circles. So do you relate to that? So I tried to focus more and more on follow through um, and I tried to do it using just willpower, but it didn't work. Then I discovered Notion. So what is Notion? Um, I've taken you into a blank page in Notion here just to try and explain what it is. And it can be quite overwhelming if you've never used Notion before to land on a blank page. In fact, the very first time I stumbled on Notion, I very quickly left again and didn't return for a few months because I just found it too overwhelming being confronted with the blank page and not knowing what to do. Like you have all these options, but what do they mean? And, and how does it all work? How is it structured? So Notion um, is basically um, a stack of pages, kind of think like how you would file folders um, if you're saving them on your um, computer or almost yeah, nested, nested pages really. So if I give this page a title, I'll call it demo page. What I can do, oh, I didn't mean to click that. I always accidentally click that one. What I can do is then I can just write on my page, um, write anything I like. I can also create a page within this page. So I just, um, to control anything on Notion, you click forward slash, and then you get a choice of things that you can do. So you can write text, you can create a page, you can do a to-do list, headings, tables. There's lots of things here. Database is uh, the main one that I use. If I just do page for now, so if I do forward slash and select page, I can create a new page. So this is demo page within page. I can see the path up here. So I can see that my demo page within page is within demo page. <laughs> so I can go back to my original page and I can see the other one listed here. And if I click into it, I can give um, these pages icons. I'll just give it this one here. And then that makes them more recognizable if I have like an index of all the pages I have created. So that's the basic structure is you can create pages and then within here I can 
create another one or I can link to an existing page. Um, I can give this one an icon, that'll do. And then I have a kind of pathway of pages to organize all my information. The other thing that you can do in Notion is create databases. And you can create an inline database or a full page database. I prefer to create inline databases just because that means I can add other things to my page as well as a database. So a full page database, you can't add any other elements, whereas an inline one you can. And then within a database, we have all these different views. But this is just to show you the, your basic way around uh, Notion and what it is. So you can create pages um, with text. Um, you can create um, links, you can import things from other places and um, there are integrations. So we can bring in media, web page bookmarks, videos, audio. So a lot of people um, link up their Spotify and their favourite playlists to Notion so that whilst they're working they can listen to their favourite music. Um, code, files, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. So. That is kind of the basics of what Notion is. And when you first uh, land on Notion, as I say, it can be pretty daunting when you see all of this, um, all of the stuff you can do with it, but you're uh, confronted with the blank page. Okay, so what are the benefits of using Notion? So there are several that I find, um, which are reasons why I prefer using Notion over other project management tools. And I think it's, the combination of being able to create almost like a website structure where you can bring in um, lots of text, you can actually plan out your um, offers or content within Notion, you've got lots of space to write out your, your content. You've got also um, with the database function, you can create uh, formulas to do um, basic maths to work out um, kind of sales projections so you've got that kind of a bit of the functionality that you would have in something like Google Sheets or Excel but alongside the project management side like something you like how you would use Asana or Trello so you have the boards and um, where you can pull your project pull tasks from one uh, status to another but you can also view calendar or timeline views but and you can also do um, simple maths. <laughs> so it's kind of bringing in the combination of all those elements. It makes it really multifunctional and allows you to do a lot of things, um, which you'll see when we actually dig into um, looking at the template. And what are the benefits of planning your sales? So the benefits of planning your sales are that it ensures that your marketing ties in with your offers. This is another thing I've been so guilty of in the past is just doing kind of general marketing and none of it actually pulls people through or explains what my offers are or why my offers are beneficial. I was just doing generally trying to think of content to put out there for the sake of putting out content. You remember to sell your offers. You don't leave them sat on your desktop uh, gathering dust or you put it on your website and you never mention it again. Um, if you plan your sales, you remember to actually sell things. It sounds obvious, but I know I forget to do this on the regular. And you can plan based on your calendar or schedule. So what I mean by this is um, I'm recording this in the summer holidays. I don't like to sell too much in the summer holidays because um, particularly a new product. If I put out a new product and there's maybe some problems with delivery or people not understanding fully where to access a product, um, it's not so easy for me to create extra content to help them access that product or explain how something works in the holidays as it would be when my son is in school. So I can plan my sales schedule based on what's happening in my kind of life calendar, if that makes sense. So here's how I have my planning set up in Notion. So in the center, you'll see I have a sales planner, which you have access to um, as part of the summit. And I use that to plan my sales. And because Notion is really magical and clever, you can connect planners together. So I um, connect my sales planner into my offer planner. So my offer planner actually feeds into my sales planner. My offer planner is 
where I plan out any new offers or keep all my old offers listed. It lists out all features and benefits and I can add in more and more information for each offer as I create more information, for example, sales page copy or uh, email marketing copy. And um, so that plugs into my sales planner so I can access information to do with that product or offer very quickly and easily. And it pulls through um, the features and benefits as well. So I can see those at a glance in my sales planner. Um, I then plan out when I want to sell things using my sales planner. And then that links out to my YouTube planner so I can plan out YouTube content that is leading to that offer and to what I'm wanting to sell. And I can do the same with email. I can plan out my email in my email marketing planner based on what my sales focus is. So they all work together as a kind of ecosystem feeding into each other. Okay, so I just want to show you practically how I have this actually set up in Notion to go alongside the diagram, what that actually looks like. So I'm going to use, this is part of the sales plan that you have access to um, this template. Um, and this is how it'll look um, when you access it and you can delete these fake offers but I'm just going to use them as part of this. So what I do to link up my template, so this is the sales module if you will, so this is the sales template that you have access to but I have also created other templates so I have one that is for planning offers and I have one which is for planning my YouTube content. So those are separate planners and this is how I link them up so that they interact with each other. So first up, I'm going to link up my offer planning template or module so that I can pull through information specific to offers so that I have the information I need at my fingertips. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add a relation. So this just means that I'm linking this sales uh, planner up with my offer planner. So I want to look for that planner. I have a couple of them. One's a template, one's the one in my own business. So I need to make sure I select the right one that actually has information in it. I just click add relation once I've found the correct database and that just links the two databases together. Next, I want to add a new column and this time I want to call it, roll, I want to search for a roll up. So roll up just means pulling information from one database to another and a roll up can do all sorts of other things. But for now, we're just wanting to pull the information as is from one database to another. So I've found roll up. Then I need to select the database that I want to pull from. So I want to pull from my ideas generation database. That is a drop down menu, so any databases you have linked will appear there. I've only just linked up that one, so that's why there's only one to choose from. And then I want to select my property. So these are all the properties that are in my ideas generation database. And I want to pull through the features. And this I can then change because it's the title that's showing up on my sales planner. So I want to call that features as well, so I know what it is. Roll up won't mean much to me. And then Again, I'll do the same thing again, roll up. I will select my database, ideas generation, and uh, the property I want this time is benefits. So I will change the name of it to benefits. And now I can show you how this works. I'll just make this a bit bigger again. So when I go to this ideas generation um, column, I can select what I'm planning to sell for the next couple of months or when I'm planning my sales and I'm thinking what do I want to sell I can then select an item from uh, my ideas generation list so this is everything that's in my ideas generation database so I'll just pick this first one and that pulls through the features and benefits directly to my sales plan so I can see them so once I've got that and I'm planning out the sales and I've pulled through the features and benefits about that product or offer I can then plan my marketing. So my marketing, my main focus is on YouTube. So now I want to add another relation, but this time to my YouTube planner, which is a separate module. So I want to find my YouTube planner. And I think it's this one. And I actually don't think I really need to add anything else from my YouTube planner. So 
because what I'm wanting to do when I'm planning my sales is I'm wanting to create new content that uh, aids my sales. So when I click on this, I can see all my YouTube videos, but these are videos I've already made uh, and that are already out there or that I'm in the course of making. But I can also plan out a new video topic. So this is for my digital product design hub. So I'm just gonna make up a topic here. So what's important about planning your products? Yeah. That would be a totally different title, but I'm just doing this on the fly. So down here, I can add that with the plus button as a new video topic. And if I click on it, it's, this has now made a new entry in my separate planner, my YouTube planner, that I can then go back over to my YouTube planner when I'm in YouTube planning mode and plan out this video in more detail. And I can even, when I'm first setting it up, I can put that I want my publishing date to be in two weeks and I can add my scheduling deadline in at the same time so I know when I have to have it made for. And I can do all that at the sales planning phase. I can also add the status to, um, to script or to idea. So I can plan this when I'm planning my uh, sales or if I like to batch tasks then I can just create the bare bones of this when I'm planning my sales and then I can go back into my YouTube planner and I can plan out my YouTube content when I'm in YouTube mode and you know flesh this out and plan it out properly but I've got the bare bones in there where I know what what I'm meant to be talking about what kind of content I'm creating and uh, I know my deadlines and over time I'm a one person business, so I focus only on uh, YouTube and email marketing at the moment. But over time, I can add in new things. For example, Summit Outreach, and I may do Instagram as well. So I can add in new modules or planners as I go, as I'm bringing in new strategies into my business. And they can just, because Notion can kind of work with separate planners or systems that then you can, pull bits in from all over the place, you can kind of make it work together to suit your needs and what it is you're looking to achieve. And then again, over time, I can add in even more of it. I can maybe add in affiliate resources that plug into my sales planner or add resources, depending on what it is I'm wanting to focus on. So remember this, you don't need to do things in a linear way. And I think as a shiny object chaser and an ideas person, I have a tendency to think of an idea and jump on it and create it without doing any kind of planning and then forget to sell it. So you don't need to put your idea into your planner before you create it. You can create it. If you're in that creative space where you have an idea and you want to do it, just do it and then go back and put it in your planner afterwards. There's no rules to say that you can't do that. And that means you have it there for the next stage of the process, which is marketing and selling. Um, there's nothing to say that you have to <laughs> plan before you create if that's not how your brain works and not how you want to do things. So you can embrace your impulses and fill Notion in after the fact. There are no rules. And use Notion as an aid and adapt it to fit the way that you like to work. So um, if, as I say, you like to do something on impulse and that works for you and that's how you get your best kind of creative ideas out there, then don't stop doing that just to fit Notion. Make Notion fit around how you work instead. It's totally possible and you can just use the bits that help you to see the process through and to remember to sell your products.